All right, now we are going to do page six of Essential Elements, where we add the left hand to the cello, which is super exciting. If you just pluck your open strings, then you will notice that there's four notes that you can play. So how we play all the notes on the cello is by putting our left hand down and moving it around. And that's a super cool way to broaden your experience of the instrument and be able to do way more things on the instrument. For now, we'll start in somewhere that's just called first position. And you may or may not have tapes on your instrument. As you'll notice, my first finger is about, on a full size instrument anyway, it's about like two inches down from the nut of the cello. There's kind of like a little lip at the top of the cello and that's the name of it is the nut. You can remember it because it's like a type of food. <laughs> okay, so a little bit down from that is where your first finger will go. And if you have tapes, then you're really set and just find that first tape for your first finger. By the way, another thing that's weird about cello and that we have to get used to is that our fingers are labeled differently than like everywhere else in real life. <laughs> so normally we say one, two, three, four, five for our five fingers on our hand. For a cello, we don't actually count our thumb as a finger. We instead have one, two, three, four. So count with me, one, two, three, four. So find your first finger, your pointer finger, and that's going to go on that first tape if you have tapes on your instrument. All right, so how to set up the cello or the left hand on the cello. You fly your elbow out while you're having a good cello position, and then you fly it in. Thumb will go behind the fingerboard on the neck, this long part. I remember this is the neck because I think of a giraffe having a really long neck, and the neck is also really long. So you will put your thumb behind the neck, and then what I do is I slide my thumb down all the way to the end of the neck so it's the thumb is resting really comfortably. Then I find my D string, the second string in, and I put down my first finger, second finger, third finger, and fourth finger on the string. Be really sure to not squeeze with your thumb on either your bow hand or your left hand here. The thumb in this case for the left hand is just lightly resting on the back of the cello and it's not squeezing at all. You wanna make sure there's as little tension as possible. When we are here and everything is looking good and we've pressed down the string at least a little bit of the way, then we slide our hand back to first position, hopefully where that first tape will be for you and or a couple inches from the nut of the cello. And then what I like to do just to start, even though we'll do something totally different in page six, find your right hand for the pizzicato and uh, repeat after me this rhythm, pepperoni pizza. And you'll do that on your fourth finger then, when that is sounding pretty good, you lift your fourth finger. Your fourth finger doesn't go way off in outer space. You keep it close in case you have to use it again. But we'll lift fourth finger and then play pepperoni pizza again. You lift three and two together. And then you lift one. We've already played open D, so that's not a new note to us, but the rest of them are. If you ever get what, when you're starting, instead of a pure ringing sound like this, if you get instead of kind of a thunk, that's okay. All it means is that our fingers aren't strong enough to press down the strings, and please do not use the thumb squeezing to help get the fingers down on the string all the way. Just trust that your fingers will over time have that strength. So keep working on keeping those fingers strong. And in the meantime, a thunk sound like that is a-okay. The final thing to watch for is that your elbow can often be in weird angles and weird places. And so I see students do any variation of these things. You want to make sure that you have what's called EWP. Your elbow, wrist, and pinky are in a straight line. So however or wherever we are on the fingerboard with our left hand, you want to make sure that there's that lovely straight line here. The wrist might bend like a little bit in either direction, but no extreme angles and you'll be just fine. All right, so now let's do page six. As long as you read the information or someone's helping you with that information, you'll learn that four fingers on the D is the note 
G, and three fingers on the D is F sharp, one finger is E. And we've actually already played those notes when we were doing pepperoni pizza. So let's do now the exercise, let's read G, and the rhythm is very familiar. It's kind of what we did on numbers one, or two and three, I think. Uh, but now we have extra notes to be playing. So let's practice setting up our left hand again. Fly your elbow out, elbow in, thumb behind the neck, slide it down, one, two, three, four on the strings, slide it back to our first position, our home base, and then get your left hand ready to pluck sideways on the cello. And we'll do let's read G. One, two, ready, go. Congratulations, you have just played extra notes on the cello and used your left hand for the first time. Very exciting. Now let's do let's read F sharp. So we're going to do the same thing. And until you're really comfortable setting your left hand, don't skip steps. Make sure you do all of these, even if it takes extra time. Then when we have all four fingers down in first position, we'll lift four because now we're only playing three for F sharp. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Excellent. And let's just keep our hand here for the next exercise, lift off. This is where we change and lift and put back down our four, put them back down. So you get both uh, experiences, if you will. This has a repeat sign, but just for this video, we're not going to do the repeat either. In general, when you play pieces with the repeat sign, don't do what I'm doing and actually do play them. <laughs> Thank you in advance. Okay, here's lift off. One, two, ready, go. Lift, put down, all right, you have completed page six. Mm -hmm.